Hello friends, welcome to Android for Dev channel. And today we are going to learn about open keyword in Kotlin. If you want to do inheritance in Kotlin or method and variable overriding in Kotlin, then you must know what is the open keyword, open keyword and how it works in Kotlin. Okay, so let's get started with today's tutorial. So, uh, so in Kotlin, by default, all the classes are final. Uh, where if you have worked with Java, uh, we need to use final keyword to make the class final. But this is not case in the Kotlin. So, if you try to inherit the class in Kotlin without using the open keyword, then it will give you error. So how you can use the open keyword in the uh, on the class? Okay. So here is an example. You just need to use open keyword uh, in the uh, on the class. So after that, you can just extend the base uh, extend the base activity class with the main activity class, right? So let's uh, see the example in the Android Studio first. So this is the main activity. Now I want to create one base class which I am going to extend into the main activity. So let's first create the package, new package and give the package name something like base. Okay. And now again new Kotlin file and class, class base activity okay so now this is a class and i want to extend this base activity with main activity okay so uh, what i will do is i will just write here base activity and this base activity will extends app compact activity right now you can clearly see this one is giving me the error and what is this the this type is final so it cannot be inherited from okay so the base activity and he's uh, and here the editor is giving me the hint also that you need to make base activity as open okay then only i can do inheritance so now what we have to do is just write open and the error is gone so but by using the open keyword we can inherit or we can achieve the inheritance in Kotlin now let's move to the second point overriding the function in Kotlin using open keyword okay so as a class same apply to functions in Kotlin all the functions are by default final so you cannot override the function in in the second class okay so what is uh, if you don't know what is overriding then the function overriding is a process of refining the function of a base class in a child class also in the child class you have to use override modifier okay and this is the simple example I have one base activity app combat activity I made one function user info which stores the base activity and then I used override keyword to override this user info big user info function and I change I can change the value of the toast here okay now let's see the example in Android studio okay now let me create one one function here open function user info okay now this function will return we're going to take a little bit different example compared to my block so this will return um, something like zero okay so this will return something zero um, then 
uh, let's change this one make it something like log i and Android, okay, no Android for Dell. Dell, and here we can print one. Print one. Okay, so this this will be the lock. Now let's move to the main activity. Now what we will do is we will overwrite the user info function here. You can see this. Is already suggesting me that override now see here now if you want that this code this log dot i should execute then only you need to use this super dot user info but you if you don't want that this thing get execute while we are running then just remove this super dot user info line and then just write here something like okay, Android for Dell and 1001 okay we have we have wrote the one here and now in main activity we have wrote 1001 now let's run and see what will execute Okay, it is printing nothing. Uh, okay, I forget to write. Actually, I forget to call the user info function here. Now let let's run again. In Android. Okay, see, so, see. So, so you can see that one zero zero what is printed. Now let's try with super dot user info, and let's run again. So this will print both the values 1 and 1001 because this code will also get executed because we use super keyword right to call our parent class method the super keyword is used to call parent class method now if I if I comment this one and just put that super dot user info and just deleting this log and running the app again what this will print of course the one only because this code is executed right so this is the use of open keyword with the function in Android or you can say in Kotlin basically right now I think you, you understood what is the what is the function overriding in Kotlin or in any language okay now let's move to the another use of open keyword in Kotlin the third one and this one is also very important open keyword with variables right so now if I declare any variable in base activity without using open keyword then that variable will be final right that variable will be final means you cannot override that variable same as we seen in the function overriding so if you want to override a variable then again you need to use open keyword with that variable okay here is a simple example i have i have created one i have made one user id variable with open keyword and then i can override the value of the user id in my child class now let's see the one simple example let me create one variable here first where user id is equal to zero okay now if i try to use user id here user id it will not even show me that user id not even in suggestion okay so user id so well user id along equal to zero and this is this is giving me the error right that user id hides 
member of super type based activity and needs override modify because we have the same user id in base activity also so what we need to do is override user id uh, now now the user id is here final and we cannot override okay why because we haven't used the open keyword here now just use the open keyword and now i can i can now override the user user id variable no need to define the type now so now here one zero zero one right and here is the zero right now what i need to do is i just need to print the value of there you have user id variable user id dot to string this two string function is used to convert the integer long double into the string values okay now guess what what will be print when i will run that what do you think please put in the comment box now let's run this will definitely print 1001 because we have overridden the value of user id which is zero in base activity okay now just what to do is just remove this line now let's run the app and what this will print is zero because the, because the main value in base activity of user id is zero okay so this is how you can achieve overriding and inheritance in kotlin using the open keyword this is a very important topic so please master this topic because this is going to use in your almost all the projects because you you need to use inheritance and overriding in almost all the project so if you like this video then please share with your friends or colleagues so they can also learn and please subscribe to my channel and i am going to upload regular videos regarding the kotlin so till the next time goodbye and thank you for the watching and please subscribe to my channel mm -hmm.